Are you missing the button on the DJI Fly app that allows you to do vertical video with the DJI Mini 3 Pro? Don't worry, it's happened to me a few times. In this video, I'll show you why it disappears and how to bring it back, along with 15 DJI Mini 3 Pro tips for beginners. These tips will make sure you get the most from the drone, have the best flying experience, and get the best photos and videos. Let's jump right in. Hey everyone, Matthew here, and today we're at a beautiful but windy Northern Ireland, where we're gonna be taking a look at 15 DJI Mini 3 Pro tips for beginners that are gonna help you get the most from your new drone. These tips will make your flying experience better, teach you a few things you might not know about the DJI Mini 3 Pro, and help you get better looking photos and videos from your drone. As mentioned, all the videos and photos that you're going to see today are going to have come from the DJI Mini 3 Pro, a sub 250 gram drone that delivers professional performance and professional quality. And if you want to know more about the gear I'm using in this video, the links are in the description down below. With that out of the way, let's take a look at tip number one. Connect the controller to a Wi-Fi hotspot. The first thing I recommend doing when you head out flying is connecting your new RC controller to a Wi-Fi hotspot. This is because maps require an internet connection to work. To do this, first turn on a personal hotspot on your phone. On an iPhone, you can do this by going to settings, personal hotspot, and then click allow others to join. And I've found that you need to turn on maximize compatibility for the RC to be able to connect to that hotspot. Then drag down on the top right of the RC and press the settings button on the top right. From there, you can go into Wi-Fi and connect to your hotspot. Turn on obstacle bypass. The new APAS 4.0 obstacle avoidance on the DJI Mini 3 Pro has three settings. Off, where the drone won't do anything when it sees an obstacle, it will not try and stop itself from colliding with it. Break, where the drone will stop if it senses an obstruction, or bypass. Bypass mode allows the drone to intelligently fly around obstacles using its sensors and continue on its course. To activate this feature, go into the DJI Fly App settings and under safety, select bypass. Try return to home for confidence. The first time you lose connection and return to home kicks in, or you have to use return to home, will be slightly unnerving. Waiting for your drone to come back automatically when you've never seen it work before is slightly stressful. To prevent this, on one of your first flights, put the drone in the air and a short distance away from you. Then press and hold the return to home button and watch the drone automatically flies back to you and lands where you took it off from. Seeing this in action will give you confidence in this function if you ever need to use it. Use the extra gimbal rotation to get creative. The new gimbal design on the DJI Mini 3 Pro allows for unobstructed upwards rotation of up to 80 degrees. This allows you to get super creative shots as an example, why not try a sky transition between two clips? Here's how. For the first clip, start flying towards the subject with the gimbal facing the horizon, then slowly pan the gimbal up towards the sky using the scroll wheel on the back of the controller. In the second location with your gimbal facing towards the sky, start flying forward and slowly bring the gimbal down to the horizon to reveal your new subject. Then in your favorite editor, put the two clips together and add a cut when both clips face the sky. That's it, a super simple and creative transition using the new unobstructed gimbal rotation. Smooth zoom in and out when tracking. Now for a few tracking tips to help you level up your footage. The first tip you might not know is that you can smooth zoom when tracking. If you're not in tracking mode and tap the zoom button, the camera will quickly jump between one and two times zoom. However, when you're in tracking mode and press the same button, the camera will slowly and smoothly zoom from one to two times. This allows you to get really dynamic clips and push in and out of your subject in a cinematic way when tracking. You can reposition your drone when using active track. You might not know that you can adjust the height and distance of the drone when using the track modes before and during tracking. If at any stage during the track you want to move the drone further away or raise it higher in the sky, you can do that using the sticks on the controller and then the drone will roughly stay at that height and distance. The best part is the DJI Mini 3 Pro will continue to track you as you make these adjustments, allowing you to get creative with your tracking shots. Use spotlight mode to record yourself. In spotlight mode, the drone won't automatically move in the air. Instead, it will rotate and move the gimbal to keep you in frame. But you might not know that you can manually fly the drone in spotlight mode and the drone will still keep you in frame. This means you can do cinematic and advanced drone moves by yourself by making simple inputs on the controller to get some really cool clips. What do you do if vertical mode is missing? The next tip we're going to look at is using vertical mode. But what if the vertical mode button is missing? Well, this could be for two reasons. Firstly, you might be currently tracking a subject 
or in quick shots mode. Currently, vertical mode is unavailable in these flight modes and the button will disappear when you're using them. Simply press back to normal video mode to see the button again. The second reason is that you might have subject scanning turned on in settings. And when this is turned on, vertical mode becomes unavailable and the icon to rotate the camera disappears. So turn that off in settings to see the vertical video mode button appear again. Use vertical video mode for social media. A common problem when posting photos and videos to social media is that you end up cropping out parts of the frame and this sometimes ruins the shot. The previous solution was to fly the drone further away and make sure the subject was within that crop zone. But this still meant a lower resolution image when cropped. Now with the DJI Mini 3 Pro vertical mode, we can capture photos and videos in the right orientation for social media, and this helps you see and frame the shot exactly as you intended for social media, while making sure nothing gets cropped out accidentally. Use 30 FPS or less for HDR video. HDR or high dynamic range is available automatically on the DJI Mini 3 Pro, giving you much better looking videos. In single shot photo mode, the DJI Mini 3 Pro can recognize the same and automatically enables HDR for a better dynamic range. But in video mode, this feature is only available when using 30 FPS or less, and you can see that indicated with this icon here. So if you want HDR, make sure not to film above 30 FPS. But I recommend you shoot at 30 FPS. And the reason for this is from my experience, anything below can result in slightly jerky footage, especially when rotating the drone fast. Even if you like to use a lower FPS, such as 25, I still recommend recording in 30 FPS and then reducing it down in post. Them extra frames result in much smoother footage. Use smart photo mode for sharper photos and 48 megapixel mode for larger photos. From my testing, I have found that smart photo mode results in sharper looking photos over the 48 megapixel mode. However, the 48 megapixel mode produces much larger photos which is great if you want to use them for things like prints. Therefore, I recommend for the best results when taking photos for social media, such as Instagram, to use the smart photo mode. But if you're taking photos to create prints from, or you like to crop your photos in a lot, zoom into them a lot, then you obviously want to use 48 megapixel mode for the best results. If possible, shoot at sunrise or sunset. Recording video in the middle of the day when the sun is the highest results in light coming from straight overhead and can cast harsh shadows over your landscapes and subjects. Morning and evening light results in much better looking clips and if you can record during sunrise or sunset, that is even better. If you do have to film in the middle of the day, try to do it on a cloudy day or find shady areas for softer light and better looking videos. Fly forwards for best performance. In my testing, I have found the drone to be much quicker flying forwards than backwards, even in sport mode. If you're looking to bring the drone back to you quickly, or you want to reposition the drone fast, then instead of flying backwards, I recommend you take the time to turn the drone around and fly forwards for the best performance. Use the tools available for framing and exposure. When it comes to framing your landscapes and subjects, this can be made easier by turning on grid lines in the DJI Fly Up settings. These grid lines are then overlaid onto your image and can be used to help visually see the framing and composition off your clips. For exposure, you can turn on overexposure warning in the settings and this will show you areas that are overexposed by overlaying zebras such as the sky. This can help you know when them areas are overexposed and dial the exposure back. You can also turn on a histogram and settings. And using this, you want to make sure most of the graph is in the center with nothing crushed to the left or right of the graph. This will help you know that you've exposed your image properly. These tools should help you get better composition and better exposure. So hopefully these tips and tricks will help you get more from this drone and help you produce better videos and photos with it. I have to say this little guy has held up exceptionally well today. It has been extremely windy in Northern Ireland, but it has held its own. Do you have any tips and tricks you've picked up from flying your drone that you would like to share with other drone pilots? Why not pop it in the comments down below? That would be fantastic. Now, if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you've just picked up a DJI Mini 3 Pro or any drone for that matter, and you want to learn more about getting better photos and more cinematic videos with your drone, then I have a ton of other content on my channel to help you level up your drone game that I recommend you check out. If you want to stick around and see a few more of them now, here's a few I personally recommend checking out. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.